Hi, and welcome to a Punk with Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Class of Five Bazooka. And I know what you're probably saying. Haven't we already done this? But no, we haven't. What we have done is the Tiger Force Bazooka, which this is just a pre-paint of what would be the repaint. We'll also be comparing them to the original. And I got to say, my original O-ring has seen better days as all he is is a shell. No bazooka, no backpack, no helmet, nothing. So anyway, let's look at this. It's the same artwork. Him walking, he's menacing, he's huge. I always think of Bazooka as a bumbling idiot from the cartoon. But you look at this, he does not look that way. Uh, this is the old style. Again, even when they were doing artwork like this, I still thought it was better than what all the other brands were doing with the plastic free packaging. It'll all be going away. No Easter eggs in this one, so. This is one is kind of weird because it really shouldn't be part of this wave. So my question is, are, is, is the plastic gonna be as good as what we've been seeing with this other one? Because I had issues with the leg uh, on the Tiger Force one, where it just felt like the legs didn't fit properly. So anyway, there's the artwork. I like it, I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, there's a side of it. He's wearing his number 14, Patriots jersey. This is number 62. Here's the old style file card. Again, it does nothing because you can't even look it up. And there on the back, you have the size of the figure, which oddly enough, he's actually a little bit shorter than Copperhead. So let's take a look at this. Let's compare him. Um, and let's see if he's worth picking up. Also, the Tiger Force one hit a thousand views. Let's see if we can hit a thousand views on this one too. Anyway, before we get started, if you like the content, take a second, hit that sub subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and hit that like button. Push this out. Let people know that, hey, you know what? This guy in the Joe community kind of knows what he's talking about. Maybe, I don't know. Some people don't think so. I don't care. All right, so he's out of his non- Plastic free or is plastic free package. I don't know. So anyway, how do we know that this is the wrong wave for this figure? Well, it doesn't have the artwork on the back. Again, this was still nice. I like that they were doing something to give you some, you know, when you looked at it. But it doesn't have the artwork on it. And then you have this one here that again it still has the unlock keypad. It says number 62 on it, big handles. Still upside down when you flip it over like this. Actually, you know, actually, I take that back. If that goes this way, then it goes like that, which makes me wonder. Maybe that's where, maybe that's where we're wrong. You know, we're going to see how I pull this out. I wanted to make this quick. Of course, we're never going to ever make anything quick. Nope. So I was thinking if this has a handle, well, there's 70. If you spin it around, there's how you pick it up. But then shipwreck is upside down. So no matter what, <laughs> these battleground is absolutely correct. It doesn't make any sense. The uniformity isn't there. Again, nice idea, poorly executed. So let's take a look at everything. And right away, I can see that the bazooka, which is pretty big, is kind of bent. I don't remember if the other one was. This would need to be heated up. Now, this thing is actually pretty sturdy, so this goes against what everyone says, that you can't have sturdy weapons because it's for kids. Again, not exactly true. So, the bazooka does have the padding on the side. It's got the handle. This piece here you have to be careful with. It will fall off, and you will lose it. So, this is made so you can flip it up. You can do a diorama or a photo shoot where you're dropping the missile in, and then you're closing it. Then you can also make it shoot out. Now, I know a lot of people don't like that because they say this isn't how a bazooka these days is loaded, but again, this is G.I. Joe. So the strap has a little bit of paint apt here to it. Then this is, you know, painted. So it looks good. I like the way it looks. Again, I just wish it seemed straighter. It's not even bad compared to some of the stuff, but this one's hard, so I'm gonna have to heat this one up pretty good straighten it out but then at least it should stay straight so there you go with that here's his backpack and again this is very similar to what he came with with the original one and the missiles go up like this so then it is sticking up 
in the proper direction and that's how the backpack was a lot of people will push it down like this which it actually fits a little bit better but then you miss this one so we'll get into that in a second so looking at this i don't see any paint apps on it it's very plain very bland so what i forgot to do turn my light on <laughs> so it's just all one color a matter of fact it's kind of odd now that i look at that maybe i shouldn't have this maybe i should do it like that who knows this is me just rambling on now <laughs> <laughs> um, and here you have a hook, so you can hook it onto the back, onto the bottom, which will make it easier for him to carry when you eventually put some sort of weapon in his hand. The missiles here are the same. Okay, so it does have the, it does have the teeth marks on this. I don't remember the other one having any. This one doesn't have any. All right, so one has the teeth marks, the screaming marks. This is the Charlie Brown. So they did put a little bit of a little bit of work into it. Now this really, if you think about it, should have come with a tiger force. It would have fit better. Then he has his helmet. This helmet also is pliable. The band around it does have a paint app. It looks good. Same with the chin strap that's going to be hanging down. And this is very similar to the helmet I remember him having. So let's take a look at the figure. And just quickly looking at it, I swear this is the same issue that we had before. And that is, these boots are not meant to go with these legs. And what I mean by that is, a lot of these things are universal. So you can put different boots with different legs. This is the roadblock gung-ho uh, legs. All right, so they're a little bit different. You can see the pins on them and everything. So the issue is, I don't believe these boots fit properly. And I had the exact same issue with the Tiger Force. So when you look at someone like Valiverse, and I don't have a Valiverse with that on it, when he made all of his figures in all of his bucks, and I know I've commented how there's only three and a half bucks, but every single buck was made to be universal amongst them, other than the, other than these legs here, which obviously you, you can't because there's no boot cut. And that's why it's easy to just, you know, pop and swap. So, all right, so quickly out of the box, T-Pose. Pinless double elbows, which look really nice. Head, that's as far as he can look up. He can look down. So it is on a, a, a neck can kind of move along with his head. So this is where they gave him <laughs> the ab crunch. So this is the first figure. I'm sorry, this is the second figure. Serpentor was the first one that they gave the belly dancing other than the ab crunch. And this is the figure you should not have because if you turn them like this, then it's wrong. It breaks that up. This one should have had the ab crunch, so the 14 would always stay the way it's supposed to. Just twist back and forth. Now, I do like this style better than just the regular ab crunch. I like the fact that they're giving you multiple ones, but, well, eventually. There's your Jean-Claude Van Damme with his drop-down hips. You got your thigh swivel. Pinned double knees. Again, that looks really weird when you have pins on the legs, but you're pinless on the elbows. You have your boot cut, which again, it's starting to separate. So I feel like these ones were done. I don't know that I feel. These ones were clearly done at a different time. And why they held this figure back to come out with this wave makes absolutely no sense. And then you get your ankle rockers. And it just feels like the boots are on the wrong feet. Even though they're not. This one, to me, actually seems, even though this is kind of sticking up, I swear it feels a little bit better than the pipe, or the, the Tiger Force. I really did not like the Tiger Force one. I had issues the way he stands. Now, if I stand him up completely, and this is how I think the figure probably should be standing, the 14 is broken. So, if we get the 14 together, and you look at the side... Now he has this perceived hunchback, 
really you would think that the figure is going to be standing up like this completely straight and i'm not going to say the other word what straight is <laughs> um but yeah i have an issue so if you want the 14 together you're going to have to get him in some sort of shooting position or else he's just going to look like he has a hunchback so let's look at the face sculpt the face looks awesome now i there is no complaint about this the paint is good the eyes look good uh, wonderful wonderful mustache He's got his wonderful hair. The 14, I don't mind. It's darker than the original. It's a darker shirt. Now, this is a Patriots um, shirt, jersey. I'm not sure if it's an actual jersey or a t-shirt. His legs are all one color, which is fine because then you don't notice the pins as much. But I don't see any paint apps, not on the, uh, not on the pockets or anything like that. The boots all seem to be one color. You can definitely tell that this was coming out at a different time than the rest of this wave. So why this figure came out in this wave, that I can't tell you. All right, so let's compare the two. Since I did do it with the Tiger Force, but I didn't have the Tiger Force. So looking at that mustache and that face sculpt, he has the same style mustache. Again, I think it looks awesome. I mean, you look at this, and I guess I said it looked like Lenny too, but when you look at this... And I'm kind of looking at this, and even though it kind of looks Asian here, um, it's the exact same. The hair is the same. Again, wonderful, wonderful face sculpt. I'm extremely happy with this. Uh, the darker red and the darker blue doesn't bother me at all. Probably has something to do with not being able to copy the uh, New England Patriots colors the exact same. But the collar here, now this looks more like a jersey than this because of the collar, but I could be wrong. So he has the blue collar, the 14, which does look very similar. And then you have the uh, the stripe and the blue right around the arm. Now, the one thing I do like about this is that the bicep is actually pushed up into this sleeve so you can see how it hangs down. And I think that is a really nice touch. It gives uh, a way more in-depth feel you look at his belt buckle he has a very similar belt buckle that they did along with the pouches on the side you got his pants they have the same pouches and even the boots have the same straps that go across so i think that looks really nice again i pointed this out on the tiger force he's got the pouch over here the pocket everything looks extremely extremely nice and again this one is uh they gave him a belt so it recreates this or you can just have him with a regular belt all right so i know one of the biggest complaints that people have is that once again he doesn't have any straps that hold on his backpack and you know what i have to say have an imagination i understand it would be nice to see some sort of straps but again the original didn't. That's what they were trying to give you. It is one of those things that you just wonder about. So back to, backpack does stay in pretty nicely. Again, what is cool is that you have two that have some sort of artwork on it. That you're going to definitely want to show off in your pictures. So look, that's kind of going to sit there. That's how I would do it if you're not having him fire it. The helmet fits on really nice, and I think he looks good with or without the helmet. But let's get to the big thing. Now, I've showed how he can hold the bazooka in the Tiger Force 1, I do believe. We saw seen the pictures. He holds it really nice. So let's try and get this on here, and then we're going to see how things work. So again, this is first hand. This is how I like to show you guys. How difficult is this? See how fast that thing fell off? So, it has a nice handle here so he can hold it. Again, it works out really, really well. So, we have them posed here. Again, I don't like the feet. They just don't feel like they are. That's my biggest complaint is the foot. The boots just don't seem to fit with the legs properly. 
So we throw this thing on here and So this is one figure that I don't have a problem posing him when you pose him. So we got from scrap iron, this plugs into here. Now you are gonna have to get him in a seated position. Take the bazooka, I'm sorry, <laughs> the rocket. Has the little joint at the end. Pops in and there you go. Now he's firing the rocket, and that looks absolutely awesome. So what do I need, Hasbro? I need you to sell me some of these blast effects, because these ones here are good. The problem is, I need these for scrap iron. I'm not going to spend another $45 on a scrap iron just so I can get this, but i got to say, <laughs> that looks absolutely awesome. Like, you cannot deny that that does not look sweet as hell Oof. man oh man all right that's it that's the bazooka uh let's wrap this up all right so there's your uh classified bazooka uh, honest to god this effect here brings a whole new dimension to the figure it it's seriously just it makes it feel like a different figure. Hasbro should have given us this or something. You should have just given us this one, the short one. It looks so awesome. It fits so perfect. I know they were meant to go together. They want module, modular things. This is so awesome. But I can't justify spending another $45 right now on another scrap iron just so I can get a blast effect here. But then I'm gonna say, hey, I also need a blast effect for the Tiger Force one if he's firing a bazooka. Anyway, that's it. I kind of lost my train of thought here. I think it looks so awesome. I, I am so impressed with that. Uh, you can probably have to find a better way to pose him. This one here will have some issues standing. But we did it. He's gonna fall, I can guarantee you because of that. Video, he fell. <laughs> so this is one, if you use a stand or sticky tack, I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna tell you you don't know how to stand your figures because he's gonna be top heavy. So anyway, I am gonna get out of here. Before I leave, if you do like this, if you like the social medias, if you're on them, Take a second, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, a punk with toys, Facebook group page, punks with toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. And last but not least, as I've mentioned before, yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop a classified video. And let's just say, I've come to the end. Five classified videos, five days, I am exhausted. I've done this in a three day period of time. I'm YouTubed out, but it's Sunday. So I still have another video to do. And then I have a live stream to do. And then I gotta prepare for my Punk Sun film on Thursday. And there'll probably be something else that comes in. And there'll be, uh, it's never ending. When someone says that it's not a job, it's just not a job you don't get paid for. It is work. I enjoy it. I'm rambling on for some reason that's what I'm doing so anyway I'm gonna get out of here but again if you like this don't go anywhere take a second you know right up here I'm gonna leave the other uh, Tiger Force bazooka and here's the classified so you can check out all the other videos that I've done because I reviewed every single classified figure take care